Liberty, Seven here. And thank you so much for joining me in an update to the Medieval Dynasty. Now, before we get into things, no, it's not uh, Crest and... Shush, man, I'm talking here. It's not the Armor and Crest update. Not just yet. But there was a modest update that did a lot of behind-the-scenes type stuff. And, uh, you know, some optimizations, some performance increases, that kind of action. Um, I'll try to put uh, images from Steam up on top so that uh, people can read it. And then, you know give it a pause or something like that but there's a lot of cool new features now so a lot of new sounds have been added there's a wind and rain like a reverb effect that kind of changes based on the number of walls and the roof composition and stuff like that so inside the rain and the wind and stuff like that is going to be a little bit more muted but it actually specifically said that it's based on the number of walls uh completed and stuff so i would imagine that stuff like the tavern the wind definitely does sound different and adjusted. It's very, very cool sounding. Uh, there's also new sounds for eating uh, a couple of new vegetables, <laughs> including rot even. They uh, they adjusted the, the noise for when the player actually eats rot, so uh, definitely going to want to uh, experiment with some of that. Um, but a whole ton of uh, fixes and stuff were adjusted as well. There's also new sounds for pickable items. So I'm guessing... All right, that's the same as it was. Oh. Go try to find some rocks or something here, or it may be loose stick. Hmm. I don't really see much of a difference in that one. I don't know. Um, something that I did not see in the patch notes that I'm noticing with my controls is there's like a little bit of a run on. Like I'm running and then I release, and he kind of like slows to a stop instead of immediately stopping like he used to. It's interesting, that, that definitely feels different, but uh, not covered. They've always had the fast crafting where it doesn't matter if you're making one or a thousand of something, you know, you have the loop go around one time and it makes all of the items that you had set to, uh, to craft. They now have a fast building. And what this does is, you, if you have the resources to build the entire wall or the entire section of a building, one hammer swing will get the entire job done. So I want to go uh, mess around with that. All right, so here's my uh, stupid herbalist hut that I pretty much never ever use and only ever put into this world for uh, testing purposes. Let me just smash down a whole bunch of this and just mess around with it. All right, so now that we've got this thing destroyed, we've got seven logs. And I've got 19. All right, so let's test this out. Oh, that is that is slick. Okay. Oh, and then it just takes the remainder. Okay. I mean, I just borked myself because I, you know, lost half the resources. But whatever, I'll, I'll just finish putting this back together. All right, so yeah, literally one swing of the hammer. Just everything goes, wow. All right, that is some quick stuff. And it's cool because it's uh, it's completely optional now, too. You know, just like with the uh, the fast crafting, you know, if you feel like it's cheating, you don't have to use it. So, very cool, very cool uh, addition. Boy, that, that drifting is taking a little bit to get used to. I wonder why they didn't say anything about it, because it's clearly different. Like, when I'm running on foot and then release the, uh, the stick, yes, granted, I am obviously playing on Steam, or, well, on PC... But, um, yeah, I play with a, a controller. There's definitely a drift. Like you run, and you stop, and he takes a couple steps still. Probably is more apparent with third person. Yeah, he kind of slows to a stop instead of... Huh, interesting. Uh, but speaking of third person, that is what you need for... Probably the, the piece that everybody is most excited about the photo mode. So I'm actually going to sit down, because sitting down should... Yeah, I mean, it is third person, so I'm going to see, see if it allows me to do this. So you pause it. Photo mode. Oh, this is fun. You can adjust the FOV. Adjust rotation, even. And then because it has to be in third person, you can actually remove your character altogether. You get a complete free camera mode. 
And I know, you know, the console players are probably going to be like, well, when is this coming? When is this coming? I'm sure it's going to be quickly along the way. Um, you know, you see down in the lower right all of the controls that are it's uh, showing me. Look at that. Documents, people dies, these screenshots. That's cool. But you can get now incredible photos. Oh, that's very cool. And there's even a quick hide UI button. So you can just give it a look. Bop. That is great. There's also a focus on player mode. So when you enter the camera mode, it'll stay locked onto your guy. So that if you want something artsy noir here, just get a view from the window. Maybe if it's, you know, raining out or something like that. Very cool. Okay, so it's going to be the trigger buttons are going to move the top stuff. Oh, wow, look at... <laughs> oh, interesting. So even the film back will change, you know, how it... Uh... Oh, yeah, look at the wild lens action going on that you can make it look like you've got a dslr camera that's very cool yeah with various zooms and everything like that the creativity that people are going to have with this level oh yeah just adjust the brightness if you're doing a night shot or you know adjust contrast and exposure and stuff very 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 cool the level of creativity that people are going to have with this is going to be absolutely insane oh wow there's even colorization effects Add some blue hues to uh, your winter shots. That's very cool. Oh, weird. Okay, so they went from, from you know, muted or, uh, or you know, blue pans, red pans, stuff like that, to some very, very... Effect 47. I guess Raspberry's going to have a uh, Halloween special coming up. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Well... You can uh, apparently go very, very nuts with this. Oh, look, a little bit of a sepia tone here. Oh, weird, this one kind of looks like a CCTV or something. Oh, look at the wild highlights on this. Like, it's a it's obvious green tint, but it's it's highlighting specific elements. That's very interesting. Not quite grayscale, but very washed out. Oh. Well, not sure why you'd want it, but if you want it, it's there. There's some there's some unsettling ones here. Oh my. Yeah, all of these grayscale adjustment ones are uh, negative, of course. Got to have the negative. Ooh, colorized negative. Oh, well, at least for some of those crazy intense ones, you can adjust the intensity. Ah, uh, but yeah, there's a million things that you can do with that. Uh, the only caveat is you have to be in third person. I'm kind of curious what the maximum range on this thing is now. So, free camera, enter camera mode. Okay, so there is a maximum ceiling, but that maximum ceiling is up there. You know, I want to I wanna move over to my... Um, I actually have one that has an even bigger farm than this one, so I'm kind of curious to see what, uh, what kind of photos I can get out of that thing. Give me one sec. Alrighty, so here is my town that's near... Uh, sort of between Tutki, Rolnica, and Denica. And yeah, I, I went kind of ballistic on the farm for uh, for this one. But wow, look at this. This place looks like Iowa. This is absolutely incredible. Oh man, I am going to have a whole lot of fun with uh, with thumbnails for this. 
Oh, and it freeze it freeze frames everything too. Look at this. So you can get right up into, you know, if somebody's doing something cool or, uh, you know, maybe if um, you've got a worker that you wanted to, you know, get a look at or get a better look at, you know. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so it appears as though you can't. Oops, <laughs> did not mean to take that. Oh, there's also a max. Okay, there's a maximum range that you can get away from Rasmir. So it's not just a maximum height. It's uh, like a three-dimensional max range that you can reach. Okay. All right. Well, I was gonna try to get a look at um, at this Miller in here. Oh, I thought you were gonna actually be animating, doing your job. Wow, everything in this place is broken. How embarrassing. All right. So let me see this one here. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be very cool. Look at this. Like you can, between the zoom features and the filters and, you know, the, the, the film stock adjustments you can make for the backdrop of it. <laughs> and there's a, there's creepy Rasmir just watching all this townsfolk work. Look at this. This is absolutely amazing. All right, so it's not just that there's a maximum height. It's just a uh, a maximum distance away. But I guess that would kind of answer the question as to why it had to be in third person. Yeah, I was actually kind of curious as I was reading the patch notes as to why that would be, but it's probably due to, like, there, there needs to be an anchor point so that they the camera knows just how far away uh, it's going to be allowed to be. Oh, wait, I want to get another one. Wait for it, and there we go. Oh, damn it. You know, I would... Oh, I didn't want to zoom down to you there, my man. Uh, no, there we go. I would kind of like it to have... Um... Oh, there are controls. Okay, perfect. I was actually flying around with the stick, you know, I was looking down uh, and then going forward and backwards to adjust the height. Yeah, never mind. Uh, you can just easily adjust the height with, uh... oh, yeah, it says it right down there, you idiot. Wow, read. Reading is fundamental. They actually tell you to read the, uh, the patch notes every once in a while. Yeah, look at that. Like, you can actually see that the uh, their bag is, in fact... Um, drawn and rendered like it's not just hollow on the inside which is very cool because I mean, you always see it from about you know here-ish give or take you know so i never actually knew if there was anything in the bag but yeah the bag is uh full of actual seeds now i wonder if there's a way to like forward time you know because everything is obviously stationary here you know if i if i missed pausing the game at exactly the specific time that I wanted to see the photo, would there be a way to, um, you know, time manipulate here or there? Not tracking anything for, for adjusting like that, but that's just amazing. That is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Like, I cannot wait to start making... Like, this is going to be my the way I make my thumbnails from now on. Like, this is this is amazing. This is just absolutely so fantastic. Just having a, a free camera mode like this and... Um, Oh, yeah, and if you get, like, a super townsfolk or somebody, you know, you can zoom way, way in on them and, you know, show off the way that they're dressed. Actually, does this person have any... Do I have any super townsfolk? Oh, killer, I do. Where is she? Ah, there you are. Oh, yeah, look at that. So you can... Show her in action. You could show her at the blacksmith or uh, at a tailor hut or something like that. Yeah, and then because she is the unique P uh, NPC, like one of the hero townsfolk, she's got her her you know fancy dress going on and everything. Yeah, you could you could definitely do a lot of work, like just especially with photos of these uh, these special uh, NPC townsfolk. And just hide the HUD. And then, yeah, and then just snap a photo of your uh, your fancy townsfolk. That is super cool. 
Ah, uh, but anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for uh, for this update. What part are you most excited about? Obviously, it's the photos for me. <laughs> Let me thank you so much for joining me in this one, and I'll see you in the next one. The seven. Bye.